Hey everybody, it's Joe, the 3D printing professor. Welcome back to the workbench. I've got myself a roll of super flexible filament and a hankering for more chess sets. Is it gonna turn out good or is it just gonna put my gears in a bind? <laughs> Let's find out. So this roll of Ninja Flex filament, I've actually had for a long time. There have been a number of projects and I have printed with it in the past. In fact, I modified my Replicator 1 to be able to print with it because Ninja Flex, it can cause a little bit of trouble when you print if you have too much of a gap between where the filament is being pulled from and where it's being pushed into. Unfortunately, well, let's go to the time lapse real fast. All right, so that really wasn't a very interesting set to see printed because everything is just these little silhouettes. This is the silhouette or profile chess set made by Dan Steele. It's available on Pin Shape. I'll make sure to leave a link. You know where to look for them. I really enjoy this set from the artistic standpoint. It's very simple. It's very elegant. I probably could have done this myself, but I decided you know, I, I want to feature some other people's work on here, and I do really enjoy this one. And of course, being flexible now, it really takes advantage of how you can manipulate it and change it. But like I said, it wasn't a very interesting time lapse. And the, the pieces didn't print very well. Actually, it wasn't the pieces' fault. The pieces were perfect. But the flexible filament kept getting wound around my gear. Apparently, my modification didn't quite take or not enough. Fortunately, I have my flash forge here and it was able to print this flexible stuff like a champ. And so I managed to finish off printing the entire set. Like I say, I love this set. I love these designs. It's very beautiful, very elegant, and yet very recognizable as a chess set. And I really enjoy printing chess sets because it gives me a chance to try different settings, to mess with the things, especially since the flexible chess sets, you can't print more than once. The flexible filament oozes like crazy because instead of retraction pulling it away from the nozzle, the retraction just kind of stretches it away from the nozzle. And so these more flexible filaments, and I think that's the problem I was having with PET, they do not take to retraction very well. So if you print just one piece at a time and you choose a model that doesn't have a whole lot of uh, sh separate shapes as it goes up. Some, some parts, each layer breaks into islands and then they come back together or don't. I chose this set because it's very clearly going to be a solid outline the whole way up. Now, the other setting that I changed was similar to what I did for PET, do my outlines from the outside in. But I also found with the ponds that I was still getting some sort of travel from, from the top to the bottom here that left a long line that I had to rip off, cut off, and try and get rid of. This particular pond, however, didn't have that problem because I discovered there's a setting that says don't cross the outline with your travel moves. And since I was doing my outlines from the outside in, the nozzle stayed inside the perimeter of these sets, mostly. I, I still kind of had a problem with the king. The back of it is just not pretty and nothing I could do would fix it. So maybe that was the fault of the model. Maybe it has some bad geometry or maybe maybe sometimes you just don't know. So when printing with Ninja Flex, be sure to choose your models carefully and set your settings up carefully as well. The other thing is Ninja Flex must be printed very slow. However, its travel speed does not need to be slow. The faster you make the travel speed, the better because the less droolies it's going to leave as it's traveling. So that's it. A successful print with Ninja Flex. This stuff is so much fun and I've got a lot of ideas for what I want to do with Ninja Flex in the future. Honestly, I'd like to scan my feet and make the most comfortable pair of shoes in the world. Or the most uncomfortable. One way or the other.
the future will find out. Hopefully I'll get to that project one day. If you have a cool idea, something that you would like to do with Ninja Flex, be sure to leave it in the comments. But as always, thank you for watching.